so guys welcome back to another video this is another um reaction to wonder why and this one is fun fact about every country in the world part two i did the reaction to part one it, it was about three four weeks ago it's actually here it was four weeks ago and i enjoyed it and i said i was going to do the reaction to part two and here it is now and yeah that's pretty much it really but i enjoy this channel i like the videos that they do and i think they're quite interesting quite geography based and yeah that's literally my well literally that is pretty much my favorite sort of topic to sort of look upon geography i just love seeing geography videos basically but yeah let's get into this let's see some more random facts about every country we i forget what letter we were at i think it was alphabetical right i can't remember which country we stopped off at though but yeah i feel like the uk is still to go the united states is still to go and many other countries again i feel like it unless yeah they must be the did they do the UK? Was it Great Britain or was it like England? Did he do it separately? I don't, know. I don't actually know yet, but we'll see in the video. But let's get into this one. Quick shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter, links in the description. We're closing in 4K on my Instagram. So I'd appreciate it if you helped me got to that. Same for my Patreon. The support on that has been ridiculous. So the links are there for those interested to see some Patreon only reactions. A lot of BuzzFeed Unsolved and a lot of like Kurzagat sort of reactions. I can't say the name of the channel, but Kurzagat, the sort of mind sort of videos. And other stuff plus people can suggest stuff to react to for certain tiers but yeah links are all there for those interested but let's get into this one it's a long video so i'm interested in seeing well so wait the last one how long was the last one actually it's actually shorter than the last one but i'm interested in seeing where we start off from because again i forget what letter we stopped off at last time hello and welcome to part two of a fun fact about every country in the world this video will cover the countries from m to z Link to part one in the top corner if you haven't seen it, and other than that, let's just get started. Over 90% of the wild. I'm just gonna. It seems kind of bright here. I'm gonna shut my curtain. Does that help? I think it may help. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. I noticed in the last video, like, it kept flashing quite, like, bright there. I don't really know what's going on, but. We won't have to deal with it too much longer when I finally move, but uh, sorry for that if it life on the up. island of Madagascar is not found anywhere else on Earth. And other Wait, than that, sorry. let's just get started. So Over 90% of the wildlife on the island of Madagascar is not found anywhere else on Earth. Now that is crazy. Lake Malawi is nicknamed that is Calendar Lake. This is because at its longest, it's 365 miles, and at its widest, 52 miles. Oh, wow. Malaysia is estimated to contain 20% of the world's species, and includes some of the most biodiverse areas on the planet. Mal the really? country is one of only 17 in the world to be classed as a mega-diverse country. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> the UK the Maldives, is... No oh my god! I was going to say, the UK is anything but a, multi a diverse, I forgot what the word is, a multi-diverse country. Basically, we just have cows, sheep and stuff here. The most boring country for wildlife, but... Bro, is this the Maldives? This is ridiculous. That is the weirdest island I've ever seen. Maldives. Is that the um, city... That is ridiculous. This kind of stuff blows my mind. It's just a huge ass city in the middle of nowhere. Because I swear the Maldives is literally in the middle of nowhere. Bro, that is ridiculous. In fact, just some incredible pictures of the country's capital city, Mal. I can't get over this. This is crazy. Do they have Wi-Fi there? <laughs> they must do, right? Because, like, how would you get Wi-Fi to such a remote, remote island? Like the island is just 8.3 square kilometers with a population of 227,000. What? That is crazy, man. 14th century Mansa Musa of Mali is believed by many to be the richest human who has ever lived, with an estimated net worth of $400 billion. Fuck. Although I'm sure Jeff Me. Bezos or Elon Musk will give him a run for his money in the next <laughs> few years. In 1942, Malta was awarded the George Cross for heroism and devotion to its people during. So that's why it's got it in the flag here, then, isn't it? That little cross. World War II. This was shown on the country's flag when they became independent from the UK in 1964. Fair enough. In January 2014, a man washed up on the Marshall Islands after 14 months adrift at sea. What? 
The Bay How? of Noadi Bu in Mauritania is the largest wow. ship graveyard in the world with over 300 shipwrecks. That is crazy, man. Look at that picture. The national animal of Mauritius is the dodo. Which is extinct. <laughs> what the hell? Mexico City is sinking. This is an ongoing issue the city has had for hundreds what? of years because the city was literally built on top of a lake. What? So you're saying in a few years the city's just gonna be in the water? What the hell? The Federated States of Micronesia is in an agreement <laughs> called Free Association with the United States in which the US is entirely responsible for the country's defence, among other things. The Marshall Islands and Palau are two other countries in the same situation. After the 2010 Eurovision Song Contest, one of the performers from Moldova became an internet meme known as Epic Sax Guy. Oh, this, this guy! The video has racked up over 70... Is that a song, right? ...five million views on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. 30% of people living in Monaco are millionaires. That's f ridiculous, man. Mongolia is the least sparsely populated country in the world, with an average of just two people per square kilometre. <laughs> Mate. When Montenegro became independent from Yugoslavia, its internet domain changed from .u to .me. <laughs> Oh, no. By some definitions, a university in Morocco, which I won't try to pronounce, is the oldest continuously used higher learning institution in the world, wow. established in the year 859. Mozambique is the highest scoring one word country name in Scrabble at 34 points. I swear I heard this one points. before. I swear I heard this one before. <laughs> Imagine waiting for your country and you wait up and it's just yours is just the highest scoring game in Scrabble, like, you'd be good. In Myanmar, <laughs> they actually eat tea leaves. The delicacy known as lapet is fermented or pickled tea leaves, uh, often served as part of a tea leaf salad. Oh, nah, man. <laughs> Until 1990, Namibia was actually part of South Africa. It was referred oh, to by wow. the super creative name of Southwest Africa. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. The South Pacific island nation of Nauru doesn't have an official capital city. Yaren district functions as the de facto capital and is the seat of government. What the hell? Nepal is the only country in the world whose flag is not rectangular. Yeah, I've always seen this and it's crazy. It's like two triangles on top of each other. It's pretty cool though, I like it, it's different. Because the euro is a currency that is used by many countries, the banknotes were designed Wait, I, Rep the Republic of Ireland used Euros? I didn't know that. I don't know why I would think not, but I, I just felt, felt they had their own currency. So that's Switzerland, Great Britain, Norway. I also confused, this is Norway, this is Sweden, this is Finland. So Norway, that's, that's Russia, the little Russian island. Oh, that's the little Russian island. So this is like Lithuania or something like that. But the majority of Europe do use euros. Signed in a way that would not represent any specific countries. All the banknotes feature fictitious bridges on the back of them. I love how Great Britain is still on the euro, even though it's part of it. At least they were fictitious until the Netherlands decided to build them all. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> the Netherlands, man. New Zealand has a hill with a name that is 85 letters long. What? The hell? Nicaragua Literally. accidentally invaded. Wait, he said hill, but it's on like hell. Wait, it's hill, right? New Zealand has a hill. <laughs> the way he says hill is like hell. A name that sake. is 85 letters long. <laughs> that is crazy. Too much to get together. Nicaragua accidentally invaded Costa Rica in 2010 due to an error on Google Maps. <laughs> The country of Niger is named after the river of the same name. As is Nigeria, the country with oh, the man. second largest film industry in the world, colloquially referred to as Nollywood. Nollywood. Yes, Nollywood. <laughs> Nollywood film is incredible. Some of the memes that come from it. for about 5% of the country's GDP. God damn. 
It's just big there. Mother Teresa was born and raised in the North Macedonian capital of Skopje, at the time part of the Ottoman Empire. Residing in Edinburgh Zoo, there is a penguin that is part of the Norwegian army and has huh? even received a knighthood. Brigadier Sir Niels Olav what? III. What the hell? That's so weird. Due to a decree by the that. Sultan of Oman, nearly all buildings in the country are white. That's so... Just... What the hell? Pakistan so has weird. six different national animals. What the hell? There's a lake in Palau where jellyfish evolved without Bro. stingers. Bro, I am not get. If you're swimming in this lake, you're crazy, bro. After the lake's connection to the sea closed, leaving them isolated from their natural predators, these so-called golden jellyfish are totally harmless to humans, and you can even swim with them. Really? That's kind of cool, but still, I would not touch them. No way. Some 14,000 ships pass through the Panama Canal every year, taking in an annual revenue of more than $2.5 billion. Wow. That's so weird. You just get lifted up. What the hell? Papua New Guinea is the most linguistically diverse country in the world, with around 850 different languages spoken. What? What? In Paraguay, the indigenous language of Guarani is actually more widely spoken than Spanish. Okay. <laughs> a small town in Peru, La Rinconada, is the highest permanent human settlement on Earth at 5,100. What the fuck am I looking at? Imagine how cold and like dull this place is to live. Is it for like mining and stuff, or do people just live here to like? Is this where just where they're located, or is there a certain reason why they chose to live here? Bro, this must be the most depressing place to live. Maybe not, but to me, this just looks quite depressing. they got cars there, what? This is what I broke. This stuff is so intriguing to me, man. When I see these kinds of pictures, it just blows my mind. 100 meters above. Do you reckon they have electricity here? I think they may do, because they've got like wires and stuff. They actually must do what? Sea level. God damn. This is Vulcan Point in the Philippines, That's which is an cool. island within a lake within an island within a lake <laughs> within an island. What the hell? Oh, Without that's changing its own borders, Poland no longer shares a border with any of the countries that it did in 1990. This was due to the unification of Germany, the fall of the Soviet Union, and the dissolution of Czechoslovakia. Yo, that's kind of crazy. In 2001, Portugal became the first country in the world to decriminalise all drugs. The impact this has had on the country's what? drug problem has been overwhelmingly positive. Wait, what? So they've made drugs legal. Well, not legal, but they've made them. They've stopped drugs from being illegal, but that kind of has actually led to less deaths. I guess I always hear stuff like Wait, so overdose deaths, 369 in 1999 to 30. 907 new HIV diagnosis due to injecting to 18 incarcerations for drug offences 3,800 to 1,100 so this kind of shows that when things are illegal people sort of want to do it more kind of in a way that is crazy but surely other countries should look at this and think okay if this works but again maybe this kind of stuff wouldn't work in other countries but that is kind of I mean not kind of that is actually crazy that legalizing the drugs has actually made it like more sort of um well it's called, it's led to less sort of deaths and all this kind of stuff wow that's kind of crazy man Qatar's population has the highest men to women ratio with 2020 estimates of 3.4 males for every female what why why is that the case that must be due to some like sort of sketchy sort of background that must be, that sounds really like, sort of like, either people from Qatar, like females from Qatar just move out as soon as possible, or there's some sketchy business behind that, because like, yeah, that just doesn't really like, make sense to me. Or there must have been, been like sketchy sort of business back in the day. Romania has the tallest rock sculpture in Europe, 
a carving of the face of Decebalus, the last king of Dacia. The whole sculpture is 55 meters tall. 55 meters. The Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia is the How deepest is point on Earth ever reached at 12,260 meters below ground. That's even deeper what? than the Mariana Trench. Bro, look at that compared to the Burj Khalifa. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. Rwanda has the highest percentage of women in parliament. 60. Wow. Oh, yeah, Rwanda. I swear, like, no, this wasn't Rwanda. Another African country had, like, the highest proportion of, like, something similar of women in, like, um, something to do with, like, politics. I don't know really. 1%. You, but... And it's one of only three countries in which women outnumber men. That's crazy. I do remember seeing that something like that similar, though. That's crazy, though. St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest and Wouldn't least populous in the country, country like that, in sure. the Americas, at just 260 square kilometres and a population of 52,000. Goddamn. St. Lucia has the highest number of Nobel laureates per capita, huh? with two and a population of 180,000. Wait, wait, what? The first two Pirates of the Caribbean movies were filmed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In 2011, Samoa changed its time zone from UTC minus 11 to UTC plus 13 by <laughs> skipping want, an mate. entire day, the 30th of December. Several <laughs> hundred people crazy. missed their birthday that day. What the hell? Bro, imagine that's you, man. You just stay the same age for a whole year. What? San Marino is considered <laughs> to have the earliest written constitution still in effect, in use since the year 1600. What the hell? Off the coast of Africa, Sao Tome and Principe was completely uninhabited before the Portuguese arrived in the 1400s. Saudi Arabia is home to the world's tallest lighthouse, That's the Jeddah light, light, which stands at 133 meters tall. <laughs> That's a lighthouse. What? God damn. There's a lake in Senegal that is naturally pink. pink. What the hell? That's pretty. The Serbian language uses both the Cyrillic and Latin alphabets. That must be so confusing though, what? Seychelles in the Indian Ocean is considered part of Africa and is the smallest country of the continent. And it also has a pretty awesome flag. Yeah, I like, I like the flag to be fair, it's pretty cool. My teacher was from the Seychelles, or like his family were from there, but he was like British, but he was like initially from the Seychelles or his family originated from there. I swear he moved there when like I was at school sometime. Don't blame him either. Imagine working in the Seychelles. I swear it's just like, the, the scenery there is next level. Seychelles. I swear it's beautiful though, man. Yeah, my oh my god, bro. Look at the water alone, man. Oh, it has the worst heroin problem. Well, that got depressing. What the heck? The capital city of Sierra Leone is called Freetown because it was founded <laughs> by freed slaves. Oh, mad! That's an interesting backstory. Singapore is the only country in the world to become independent against its own will. Bratislava is the only national capital in the world that borders two independent countries. Oh, wow. There was a time when representatives of Slovenia and Slovakia would meet up regularly to exchange wrongly addressed letters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the Solomon so funny, Islands were named after the wealthy biblical king Solomon because the islands were, incorrectly, believed to contain great riches. The code for Somalia's currency, the Somali shilling, is SOS. Mm. That's quite fitting, god damn. South Africa has three different capital cities. Johannesburg, Cape Town... I know the other one or not. Pretoria. Pretoria, Cape hmm? Town and Bloemfontein. Oh, Johannesburg, but that's like the most famous city there, right? Bloemfontein, I've heard of it, but I didn't actually know that. South Sudan is the newest country in the world admitted to the UN in 2011. Every year in the small town of Bunyol in Valencia, 
There's a festival called La Tomatina in which thousands of people throw tomatoes at each other. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like my biggest nightmare, man. I hate tomatoes, man. <laughs> I am not getting involved in any Sri Lanka either. was the first country to have a female prime minister. Oh, wow. Sirimavo Bandranaike in 1960. Sudan, not Egypt, has the most pyramids of any country in the world. Really? What? Suriname is the most forested country in the world, with 95% of its land area covered by the Amazon. Bloody hell. Sweden has more islands than any other country in the world, with 267,570. Bro, building what? 267,000, what? 570. Bro, building these roads must have been an absolute bitch. But this does actually make for an incredible, incredible, incredible scenery, man. Live, I don't know if people would live in these sort of islands, but if you did, man, that's the dream. I mean, certain islands are probably nicer than others, but just, I can't imagine. This is incredible, though. This makes for such a nice sort of, like, viewing. And it just, you just feel like you're in nature in this moment. If you do live here, goddamn, you're lucky. But also so sort of remote. Switzerland is home to the world's longest staircase. Traversing Mount Neeson, it has 11,674 <laughs> steps, How long does it take a total to distance of 3.4 kilometres and a vertical incline of 1,669 metres. Bro, meters. you're going to be working your legs, bro. <laughs> That's giving your quarters a workout. The largest restaurant in the world is located in the Syrian capital of Damascus. The restaurant gained a Guinness World Record in 2008 with a maximum capacity of 6,014 diners. Corona ain't gonna like that, bro. <laughs> that ain't gonna be getting to use for the next few years, to say the least. 6,000 seats for a restaurant. Mate. The site was abandoned in 2014 oh. for obvious reasons. Oh, man. That's so depressing. There's a restaurant in Taipei. I'm saying Corona and it was actually just, like, war breaking out. That's so depressing. Yeah, that man. is a toilet themed restaurant. <laughs> the decor, the menus, and most importantly, the food is all what? designed to be. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is this a thing? Why? Why? Bathroom related. <laughs> oh my I'm god, sure it bro. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Tajikistan has the longest glacier outside of Earth's polar regions. The Fedchenko Glacier at 76 kilometers long. <laughs> the shortest ever oh, war right. in history took place in what is today Tanzania in the Anglo Zanzibar War, which lasted just 38 minutes. <laughs> God damn. British victory. Come on, boys, the quickest victory of war. You can't you can't touch us. The full name changed. of Thailand's capital city, Bangkok, <laughs> is City of Angels, Great City of Immortals, Magnificent City of the Nine Gems, <laughs> Seat of the King, City of Royal... This is like a sort of a thing that you'd have like on like um, a tourist sort of attraction site. I don't know if that's a thing. But like, you're trying to attract people to come to your city. You're trying to just sort of say nice things about the city just to try and make um, tourists come to see it. It's the City of Angels. It's a great city. It's a City of Immortals. Magnificent City. Nine Gems, Seat of the King, City of the Royal People, whatever. Palaces. Home of Gods Incarnate, erected <laughs> by Vish... Please come see, please come visit. Oh, we want you to visit, please. At Indra's behest. <laughs> Just at the end of it, that would have been hilarious. The name of Togo, Togo, meaning by the water, was originally given to a coastal town now called Togoville. Oh, man. The Germans used the name to apply to the whole country. Germans? Wait, so was it German? In the South Pacific, a millionaire wanted to create his own country as a tax haven by buying sand from neighbouring countries. <laughs> However, his plans were thwarted when the coral reefs were annexed by Tonga. Oh, damn. The limbo dance originated from the island of Trinidad. <laughs> Much of the original Star Wars movies was filmed in Tunisia. Don't hate me, I've never watched Star Wars in my life. And I don't plan to. I, I say that. It is one of those things that I should I should have probably seen. I've never watched it. I don't know, I've never been into it. It's like the biggest film. I don't know why. My family just never sort of got me into it. Like you sort of watch shows because when you're young your family gets you into it, but I've never ever watched it. Not even seen The Hobbit. 
I've seen the parts of the Caribbean, which is a bit different. I've not seen all of them, though. I've seen a bit, but I am so uncultured, bro. I am so uncultured. <laughs> I really am. The bird called a turkey is named after the country, despite there being no turkeys in Turkey. In <laughs> the like Turkish language, the bird is called a Hindi, and in Hindi, it's called a Peru. <laughs> what, what's it called in Peru? <laughs> Turkmenistan has a burning natural gas field called the Door to Hell. What? Tuvalu has the country code top level domain of .tv, which is extremely popular for obvious reasons. The country negotiated a licensing deal which brings in millions of dollars a year, what? up to 10% of the country's revenue. <laughs> Smart ass country. The president of Uganda, Yaori Museveni, has been in office since 1986. What? Term limits were scrapped in 2005, as was the age limit in 2017, allowing him to continue his rule. Is it a good, is he, is it like a good ruling or is he like forcing himself to stay? What is that about? The world's deepest metro station is the Arsenalna station in Kiev, Ukraine at 105 meters below ground. Bruh, the air must be different, man, down there. The UAE and especially Dubai is packed full of world records. The world's tallest building, the world's largest mall, the world's highest tennis court, the first seven star hotel, the world's <laughs> largest picture frame, the world's <laughs> largest flower garden, with what? the world's largest flower arrangement. Bro, look at that, bro. The UAE does things different, man. Some of these Middle Eastern countries are just wild in terms of what they do, man. The, just the scenery is incredible. And the list goes on and on. <laughs> can't even say all of them. What the Collectively, heck? people in the hey, UK the boys. drink an average of 165 million cups of tea every day. That's more than 60 billion per year. I waited 40 minutes to see that we drink tea. Bro, this doesn't... <laughs> I'm assuming the United States is going to be after. I've waited 40 minutes, including the last video, to see that we drink tea. I know that! Oh man, are you dumb? <laughs> I can't want to cry. In the US, 420 mile markers on highways are stolen so frequently that some states have changed them to 419.9 <laughs> What the hell? Markers. <laughs> if you couldn't define the US in any other way, it's the 420 mile signs getting stolen. That's incredible, man. That's incredible. I love that. That's actually quite a good one, to be fair. <laughs> the 420 signs, you've had to change the Jose Mojica, the Uruguay's former president, was considered the world's poorest president because he donated 90% of his $12,000 monthly salary to charity. Wow, what a guy. What a guy, man. And I wish every other PM, maybe not to that extreme because people do have to live, but the amount of money that PMs, not PMs get, um, well, PMs as well, but um, people just in politics in general, bro, the money that they get is just stupid and it's all our tax money. If they could donate, again, not 90%, but just a certain amount, It'd probably make them more loved in the country but it's just the fact that they earn so much money and they're just in the uk the majority of them are just useless they just call for laws that don't even need to be called or just yeah i'm not gonna get into it i don't even know i'm getting to this to be honest <laughs> but shout out to the uruguayan prime minister man what a, what a dog uzbekistan what a is one of only two countries in the world that is double landlocked i.e is surrounded by landlocked countries <laughs> just stuck in the middle of nowhere there man in Vanuatu, it's possible to buy citizenship for $150,000. Passport sales make up about 30% of the country's revenue. What the hell? That By far nuts. the smallest country in the world, the Vatican City is the only remaining absolute monarchy in Europe. Angel Falls in Venezuela is the tallest waterfall in the world, at a height of 979 meters. Approximately 40% of people in Vietnam have the surname Nguyen. Really? Yemen Wait, is the what? only country in the world That's that begins wild. with Y. Only three other letters only have one country, O, Q and W. Mad. The only letter in the alphabet that doesn't have any countries is X. <laughs> a country thinking quick, what can we name ourselves? A new country being formed. We've got to think of a word of X in it. Zambia has the highest national park coverage of any country 
at 32% of its land area. Wow. The first ever president of Zimbabwe was called President Banana. In 1982, <laughs> a law was passed forbidding citizens from making jokes about his name. <laughs> That's incredible, oh my and god. And with that, we've made it through all the countries, but this <laughs> series up, isn't President quite Bernard. over just yet. Huh? For my next videos, I need some input from you, the viewers. So if you'd like to help me out, please refer to the pinned comment down below to find out how you can have your say about okay. my next few videos. Thank you all so much. For my next video, there were so many countries that I had several interesting facts for and it would be difficult, difficult to pick just one, so I'm going to make another fun facts video, a bonus video in which I can include all the great facts that I wasn't able to include in the main videos. I'll also include some countries that didn't make it to the main video, such as Kosovo, Palestine, as well as Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland, so please leave us suggestions for any fun facts you have about any country. Secondly, there were several facts in these videos that I could potentially put in their own videos. Edit, edit for error. Mongolia is the most biasly populated country, least densely populated. Shout this guy. Um, Yugoslavia, why did you leave? What did I do? Montenegro, never mind. It's it's not you, it's me. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. The president of Uganda has been in office since 1986. Queen Elizabeth, pathetic. <laughs> the biggest restaurant in the world located in Syria was abandoned in 2014 for obvious reasons. Broke my fucking heart. Honestly, man. It's just sad. It makes you realise how fucked the world is. Another fun fact for the Vatican is the country is the most, with the most popes, with two popes per square kilometre. Wait, is there two popes? I thought that was just one pope. That's crazy. I, didn't, I thought that was just one pope around the whole world. I'm so confused. Wait, what? Every other country gets an interesting fact. Yemen, it starts with a Y. Turkey, India and Peru. Our goals are beyond your understanding. <laughs> Most countries, oh hey, it's an obstacle fact, Moldova, epic sax guy, I've waited for this. I enjoy these videos so much, man, but honestly, let me know some more videos like this you want to see. These videos, these video reactions seem to go down pretty well, so I'm definitely down to do more, but yeah, leave me your thoughts down below, and yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, peace.